What's going on everybody, King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another unboxing video. Today we do have an unboxing from the good folks of Ringside Collectibles. So this is a Ringside Collectibles unboxing video which I'm really happy I did order from them again. Unfortunately, they did send me my packages in two separate boxes so... I don't like it when companies do that but they did anyway. So let's actually take a look at what we got in. I think I'll save this box for last. We'll have a better look at the bigger box and as always I have already taken the liberty to open the box because I only have one free hand because my camera is in the other hand. So let's actually take a look at what we got today. We do have the Ringside Collectible Exclusive NXT TakeOver Andrade Cien Almas or as he's just known now Andrade. He does come with the NXT title. Really looking forward to getting him open. We of course do get a little bio of Andrade here. Really, really looking forward to getting this. And the Elite 74, is it? Either way, I got both of them. Uh, I like the torso on this one better, but I like the interchangeable hands on the other one. So, we do have that. We do have the Elite 75 Seth Rollins here, which I really do like that face sculpt. I think that's one of the best Seth Rollins face sculpts we've gotten. Does come with several pairs of hands, so I do like the hands. Really do like that. Not my favorite gear, ring gear, but you know what? It's a pretty nice gear. We also have the WWE Elite Collection Series 75 Jeff Hardy Classic. Jeff Hardy, actually, not really classic, but it's ruthless aggression. Jeff Hardy, really love that face paint. Again, he is from Series 75. On the back, you can see other figures of this series, so. Really happy I do have Jeff Hardy here. Let's move on to this next one. We do have Kalisto, which this is actually my first Kalisto figure. I don't think I I have an elite one. I know I have a basic one, but don't have an elite Kalisto. I'm really excited to get him. Again, he does have multiple pair of hands and the Noisemaker plus his Lucha House Party t-shirt. Again, other figures in the line. Really, really liking that getting the paper out of here. We do have the Elite 74 Lince Dorado. As you can see, it is the variant gold costume. I didn't really care which one I got and I just saw this on ringside, decided to pick it up. You can see the, the, the package is a little bit mangled and that's why I pretty much got this pretty cheap. The box is kind of beat up at the top, but you know, it's just the piece of trash that I'm going to throw away to get to the figure, so don't really care about the box too much, and we can have a pinata right there. Read up. So final figure that we do have is the Elite 75, Mandy Rose, which this is another figure I've been wanting for a while, and you can see I'm already going to have to heat that hand up, I, unless she's doing a hand gesture, which I highly doubt that. I really do like the face, but I think I might try a head swap, although I really don't like doing head swaps on female figures because, to be honest, I have a really terrible track record. Beautiful image of Mandy Rose right here, a little read up right there. So we do have six figures, is it six? Yeah, we do have six figures in box one. So we do have box one out of the way, moving on to box number two which is the one that I've really, really been wanting ever since I saw it on Ringside Collectibles. It is a Ringside Collectibles exclusive. They did be sure, ensure to throw in this little flyer, which you can tell it was meant to be in one box because I only got one flyer. So that just shows you that they really didn't plan my shipment out all too well, throwing that box out of here. We don't need that. So what do we have inside this little envelope let's actually get that opened up we do have Jushin Thunder Liger now it's not the same one that I reviewed a couple days ago I think it's been a week at this point this is actually yeah the box looks the same but this is the ringside exclusive black and gold 
Fusion Thunder Liger and I am just so happy to finally have this figure in my collection. Really been looking forward to him. He has the exact same pairs of hands. Just looks really nice in packaging. Cannot wait to get him opened out because this is one good figure that I enjoyed and I'm pretty much going to enjoy him all over again. So yeah, with that out of the way guys, that is my Hall of Thumb Ringside Collectibles. It's a really decent haul size haul. I didn't go too over the top with it. All this did run me about $170, so that's pretty decent. Really am excited to have all these figures in hand and I will do part swappings with some of them. Some of them I'll just do the full review. But if you guys are interested in seeing more unboxings, just let me know down in the comments and if I have time for unboxings, I'll definitely get around to them. So with that being said guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go ahead and check out all my other action figure reviews as well as all my other unboxing videos. Hopefully you find them informative. As always, if there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments and if it's in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. While you're at it, check out my Instagram account for new and exciting action figure photos and as always, ring that bell to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time guys, I'll see you later. Take care everyone.